Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. I'm Paul Clark and welcome to, well, halfway up this beautiful willow tree. Now I'm on the lookout for the elusive red squirrel. So come and join me back at the studio and I'll explain all. Get down, grow up. So welcome back. And what have I got for you lovely people today? Well, we're gonna have a go in line and wash with this little red squirrel. So come and join me and we'll paint it together step by step. Okay, so today we have another short unsponsored paint review. And this is the 10 15 ml tube set from Schmincke, complete with this useful swatch card. So I'm going to make a new palette up and I've been given this rather fetching, if not slightly effeminate pink tin, which I'm going to squeeze all my colors into. Now I won't bore you by showing you every color, but here they all are with the completed card. And it's always worth doing this so you can see the true colors as they are out of their pans. I'm also going to be trying out this art board from Dela Rowney. Now I've never used it before, so it should be interesting. It's 1.4 millimeters thick, so there should be no problem with it warping. It's fairly inexpensive at about one pound 60 UK pounds for an A3 sheet. So I'm quite keen to see how it compares to proper watercolor paper. And again, it's an independent review. Okay, so the colours I'm going to be using today, I'm only using six from the Schmincke set, including Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow, Venetian Red, Ultramarine, Sepia Brown, and Permanent Carmine. The three brushes are from my own series, number 12 round, three quarter inch flat, and of course my trusty number three rigger. And here's the photo reference taken from the very useful website, Pixabay. If you would like a free download for the drawing, it's available from my website, link in the description below. For my ink work, I'm going to be using an ordinary garden stick, available free of charge under most hedgerows, simply sharpened at the end. And this one is a number 12 stick. And I'm also going to be using some permanent Indian ink. Now what I love about using a stick is you get a totally inconsistent line. It's all very scratchy and hit and miss, which will help me to get that much looser arty feel rather than looking too much like a cartoon. So while I'm drawing this, allow me to tell you why it was very unlikely I was going to spot a red squirrel earlier. Now the red squirrel is in fact native to the UK, but in 1876 the larger grey squirrel was introduced from North America. Now not only couldn't a smaller red compete for food and habitat, but the grey carried a virus which very nearly wiped out the population of 3.5 million reds. Now there are still small pockets of reds, especially in the north of England and Scotland. But this little fella is considered to be an endangered species. So we need to look out for him.
So let's make a start with the colour and this is some yellow ochre and I'm using my flat brush and painting in loosely and quickly, not worrying about painting over the lines. Now wet him wet with some Venetian red. Make sure you leave his tummy white. And here I'm just adding some sepia brown. I'm also dropping in some clean water to keep the paint moving. Now I've noticed with this board it's drying more quickly and not absorbing into the surface like conventional watercolour paper. But I'm still liking it, it's just slightly different. Now for this shadow I've mixed a little carmine red and ultramarine for this purple colour. So we need to let this totally dry so it's a perfect time for a short break and a nice glass of the Squirrel's Nuts Mild Ale. Next for his tail. Now I want this to be done all wet in wet so I'm painting with clean water all of this side of his body, dropping in a good strong mix of sepia brown. And here just a dab of Venetian red and of course a few splats here and there. And now with my rigger a few finer tufts. Next the background and here a little bit of negative painting around the daisy with this green mixed from cadmium yellow and ultramarine and dropping in clean water with various mixes of green.
So when painting wildlife, I often like to leave some of the areas of the background left unpainted. Please see blue tit video link above for more details. Dropping in here some clean water blobs to try and force a few back runs. Here I'm just using some ordinary table salt and simply sprinkling in a few granules. Now hopefully most of the salt should dissolve, but when it's dry you can just brush off whatever's left. A little touch of cadmium yellow for the daisy and a little touch of that purple for the shadow colour. And I'm just using a little bit of Payne's Grey here for his eye. Here I'm using some yellow ochre just to warm up a few of these lighter areas. Next for his fur. Now this is really so easy to overwork this stage. So using my rigger and a fairly dark mix of Venetian red, I'm just dabbing in with short sharp strokes to suggest the idea of fur. Next, the smudging out with a damp tissue technique, just to soften a few little areas. And this seems to lift out very easily from this card. Now I've finished with the colour, I can determine if I need to be a little stronger with the line work, just to bring out a few of these little edges.
Next, with a yellow greenish pastel pencil, I'm drawing in a few blades of grass just to get a more natural transition between the background and his body. And here, just some white for a few highlights. We're done. What, no magic scalpel? All right, just a few little sparkles in his fur. And that should do it. Now regarding the Schmincke paints, I think they're fabulous, but I'd like to try them first on some more conventional paper before giving a full detailed review. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and you'll give it a go. Line and wash can be great fun. So I'm gonna leave you now with just a little clip. Let's say I was a little bit disappointed in someone because they thought that it would be a funny idea to take the ladder away and disappear into the house to watch the rest of MasterChef. Hello. It's not funny anymore. I've been up here an hour now. Bring the ladder back. Paul! Where are you? What have you done?